You know when a lot of guys go out, they say, we're going to go after some trout, we're going to cast some trout, but that's not what I do. I go after big trout. Well, I think you get it now. We're going after big trout. This isn't going to be one of those videos where there's going to be music and B-roll. It's all about the fish. It's not for you. It's not for me. It's just all about going after these big fish and doing whatever it takes to get them. It's a completely different thing going for trout and going for big trout. You have to, and this is the thing a lot of guys where they're not going to be able to make the cut. You have to be prepared to only get one or two bites or maybe even none the whole day. And you do that day after day. And I'll be the first to tell you it's not for everybody. And that's why a lot of guys are not able to build up that knowledge to where they're able to catch big trout. We're going after the big one and we're going to catch them and we're going to cook them up. Whew, man, it is, uh, you know, it's blowing a little bit, but it's looking pretty fishy out here, dude. I'm seeing a lot of bait. Water, it's pretty churned up as you would imagine with this wind, but it's still not as bad as it could be. And I'm seeing a ton of bait. Got the down south lure uh, supermodel tied up, purple rain color. I might switch to something smaller right now in spring. There's a lot of a lot of bait fish hatching, so a lot of the bait is smaller. So I might switch to something smaller, especially because I am seeing a lot of them flip around too. Okay, boys, I'm liking what I'm seeing. I'm liking, oh my gosh, that was a big mullet, but. I'm liking what we're seeing. I think, honestly, I didn't know if we were gonna catch fish today just because it's so windy, but it's looking really good. There's a guy. You're kidding me, dude. You're kidding me. I didn't know if we were gonna catch him, boys, but we're hooked up. How big is it? Ooh, that's a nice one. It was a nice one. <laughs> we're looking for the big guys to keep, though. We're keeping a big one. We're keeping a big one. That's a big girl. Maybe, maybe not. It's a fish though. This is pretty decent maybe, but it might just be in the current. Ooh, I think it's decent, boys. Ah, not really. <laughs> it's just in the current. Not a bad guy, not a bad guy at all, but we need some bigger, bigger. That's good though, we, we caught him right here. It's kind of a little area where the current kind of stacks up right here in this spot. So I'm thinking there's definitely bait coming through. There's another one, wow, it might be stacked up. Look at that, he's trying to fight. Oh my God, I thought it was an LG at first. It might be. Ah, that current is so deceiving, huh? Yeah, it doesn't feel very weighty. But it did take a little bit of drag. Now it's running towards us. What is it, dude? This is two casts in a row, boys. That's why you gotta... Oh, wait, what the hell is this, dude? Is this a nice fish? This might be nice. A little bit bigger. A little bit bigger. Oh my gosh, it's a football. Oh my gosh, a fat one, dude. That's a chunk for sure. Holy. That's a chunker, dude. Fat. We just need, we need longer. Let's see how long it is. 19. Fat 19. Hoo wee. That might, that might go, that might go two and a half, three pounds. Oh wow. Yeah, three. Three exactly. Let's go. They're stacking up. They're stacking up. And we're still here early, boys. Get out of here. Like I said, we're using the purple rain color. A little bit darker color just because the water's a little bit murked up. There he is. Oh, there he is. Might not have to switch. This is an LG, though. Let's crank him in. Super speed, so we can get another one off the rip. He's not even that small, to be honest with you. This is sick. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We gotta get a big guy, though. A real big guy. Bang. There he is. Oh, that's a big one. 
That's a big one. Good enough? Actually, it might be decent. <laughs> These, wow, dude, they're freaking sticky stacked up, boys. Okay. Come here, bud. Sheesh. Football. Damn, dude. Not the longest one, but look at that tiny tail. What are you doing with that tiny tail, bud? What are you doing with that? How are you fighting so good with a little fish tail? You get to go back, though. Dang, interesting fish. Huh. There he is. You know what? We could actually, I, I think I'm going to throw a corky. That might be the play. I've got my favorite color for this water too. Just have that bigger profile. The water's kind of, ah, it's not, it's pretty murked up, but it has a, a foot or two of visibility, foot and a half. And that corkster also has a little rattle in it. This guy right here. Only bad thing about this guy, it's got the stock hooks on it, which have caused me great pain in the past. <laughs> All right, boys, what do you guys think? The corkster in the current, you think it's gonna get us the guy we need? No, 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 need? Oh, there's a guy. There's a guy, put a little drag. Wow, again. Come here, big fella. He's going up current. Oh man, now he's in the current. It. Come here, big fella. That's a nice one, dude. That's a really nice one. Holy cow. Holy. That is a nice one. Well, fellas, we freaking got him, man. We freaking got him. We got a big 26 inch trout. Unfortunately, on the way, we ran out of batteries, <laughs> as it always happens. Right during the most important moment, as it always happens, man, we're gonna cut that guy up and then we're gonna cook him up. Big old speckled trout. Well, it looks like there are some fish even after the freeze. Let's grab our filet. Man, the great thing about catching some bigger fish, too is you're gonna get some big fillets on that guy. So let's take this trout and let's cook it up. All right, with this big fish, we're gonna, we, we're gonna respect the fi fish. We're gonna keep the ingredients to a minimum. First of all, we got some butter going in. in. We got some butter going in, into the pan. Just a little bit of salt, some pepper. Just a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, just keeping it really simple and yeah, cayenne. And then straight in with our nice speckled trout fillet. Gotta, gotta have a decent amount of butter because we're gonna be using this butter and we're gonna be kind of basing it on top. And a few minutes later, there you have it, your beautiful, tasty speckled trout filet. Perfectly cooked up and flaky too. Yo, April Fools, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry fellas, I had to do it. Obviously, it was a salmon filet, not a gator speckled trout. You know, we caught some, we actually did catch some pretty nice fish. No 26 inches though. Obviously now, if you didn't know, in, in my area at least, you cannot even keep any gator trout. Uh, there's a new regulation in place. You can only keep three trout from 17 to 23 inches. Love you guys very much. We'll, we'll be back next week with a, a serious video. Love you guys very much. We'll talk to you guys next time.